Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are talking about another form of drive, another form of motor. We are talking about a servo motor. We do have one servo motor in our starter kit. It looks like that. Huh? Little blue thing yeah, with cable. And, well, what does it do? Huh? It, the servo motor looking like this. There are uh, different type of levers also available also inside the package. You can place these levers somewhere here yeah, at the servo motor. Yeah, you can place it in a lot of directions. Yeah, and you will notice that you can turn the servo motor. Yeah, when it will make a little bit noise. The gears inside, there are gears inside, they will make a little noise. But you can turn it around when, to every position you like. Okay. What is the, the reason of a servo motor? A servo motor can be positioned. Yeah? So can I can tell the servo motor if it should stay at this position or at this position or at this position or at this position or at this position, and it will stay there. Okay. This. It is not rotating like a normal motor. It will position the lever to a certain position I can select and stay there. And if I select another position, it will move there. The logic of this is somewhere inside there. And, well, we just have to tell how it is working. Okay? So actually, the movement range of our servo motor is between 0 and 180 degree. Yeah? So we can move 180 degree. Sometimes it's called 0, minus 90, plus 90. Depending now, of course, where really the zero position is, how I put on this lever. I'm not exactly sure now. Whenever you will then this operate the first time you will see where the zero position is yeah? and yeah well that's it yeah? so we have here our servo motor then we have here our shaft and our lever all right, and we have three cables. Look at that. There are three cables: are orange, uh, red, and and brown. So there will be this red one, the middle one, there's the orange one. All right. And then there's the brown one. What are now? What are now those things? Well, the brown one, this is ground. Okay. Zero volts, ground. The red one, this is the power supply. Yeah. So here we have, we are placing plus five volt for this servo motor. This is a 5 volt servo motor. Yeah? And here, the orange one, here we are coding somehow the position. Yeah? And the position is given by, we have already had this abbreviation, abkürzung, PWM. Pulse with modulation. Okay, cool, you would say. I guess, yeah, because we know our analog outputs are pulls with modulation, and so we just have to put there an analog output, and we can already select between 0 and 180 degree, and it will position. Ah, it's not that easy, because this particular servo motor, yeah, it needs a PVM frequency of 50 Hertz, all right? So, actually, it has to look like that, yeah? Here is the signal, PVM signal, here is the time, and every 
let's say here 15 milliseconds, then the next one is 20 more, 35 milliseconds. Okay, so if we need a frequency of 50 hertz, hertz, so we have here 20 milliseconds. PWM period. Okay. And now to the signal. So th th this is our PWM signal. Now to the signal. Here we have a pulse. It lasts for a certain time and then it will drop off. Here we have a pulse. And the length of the pulse is coding the position. So here, this here, tip pulse length, yeah, this is coding the position. And here I have to look now, yeah, if tp is around one millisecond, we have zero degree. If it is around two milliseconds, yeah, I guess. Yes, two milliseconds, is what I remembered. We have 180 degree. Yeah? So it's really, it is not varying too much, right? So it's not changing too much, this dp. So we need really to be accurate, okay? So we cannot, because on our Arduino here, we've on the, if we're using this pulse with modulation outputs, we would either have around 500 hertz or around one kilohertz, so, but never 50, yeah? This is why we cannot just use analog write. Okay? We have to use something else. We have to time this somehow. And, well, luckily for us, somebody else did it. Yeah? There is, there is a library. Yeah? And this library is called servo. Dotage. Yeah. Servo.h. This is the library we are going to include. This is a built-in library, so you should have it already installed on your on your computer. Yeah. So this is how a servo motor is working. Okay. How it looks like an action, we will see in next video. Yeah. So next video we will do this servo motor positioning. For this time. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.